Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here. Welcome to episode 8 of my Let's Play of Sky Factory. Lovely. Alright, so we're getting back into this thing. Uh, we are on day 110. Oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah, it's been... I've done a little bit off camera uh, since the last episode, so let's have a look. None of it's too much, mainly just gathering of resources. Uh, I hooked up export, no, import buses, I think they are, yep, import buses from my furnaces into my uh, AE system, and as you can see I have a ton more of pretty much everything, uh, yeah, I've just basically been sifting a lot of stuff, that's pretty much it, had five stacks of uh, soul sand gather up, so that's good, uh, so yeah, I mean, not much else has changed. I've moved my berries across to this side as well so that we have a good amount of the berries actually growing because I've moved my food source over to berry medleys just simply because, you know, they're better. You know, they're pretty much renewable now that we have those in there. They're going to last pretty much forever. So, all right. So this episode, what I want to do is I want to move... Uh, Oh yeah, that's what I also did. I also added another lava generated and pumped it into a leadstone energy cell because we're going to eventually want to get uh, thermal expansion machines and having this energy cell here will actually help us later on. All right. So, oh, there we go. So what I actually want to do is move these stuff, these barrels, into the AE system. But I don't want to store them in the drives because they're going to take up too much space and not leave any space for anything else. So what we need to get is a deep storage unit from Mine Factory Reloaded. That's why we cooked up... I think I cooked up some plastic. Uh, what is it called? Raw plastic. I swear I cooked some up. Hmm... Apparently not. I only got 20... F oh, no. Oh, yeah, I did cook up some rubber bars. That's right. Uh, how do we get plastic sheets from that? we got to smelt these up. Whoopsies. God, I'm on the ball today, that's for sure. All right. So let's cook those 24 up and get raw plastic. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Well, I can't make reinforce. Strong boxes. I have enders. Uh, how many ender pearls do I have? I have two eye of enders. Oh, yeah, I have plenty of ender pearls. Easy. So, three of those. Uh, plastic. Slowly getting cooked up. And as you can see, it gets pumped out directly into here. So that's kind of a step of automation. I didn't automate anything else because I wanted to get these uh, deep storage units before I did anything else. There we go. Plastic sheets. Uh, then we need uh, one of these guys, which is smooth stone, which I should have plenty of. With raw plastic sheets. Oh yeah, 490 odd. Yeah, I did a good bunch of stuff in between episodes. That's why we're on day 110. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we should have, hopefully, four very shortly. And we should be able to make these. There we go. Plastic sheets. All right, we chuck those in there. Then we should be able to do that. And we have four deep storage units. Now, that'll be enough for now for everything. So what we need to do is when whoopsies, I mean to do that. So we've got one, two, three, four. Perfect. So what these do is these store a lot of stuff. I don't know exactly how much they store, but they store a hell of a lot. Um, so yeah, all we got to do is basically pump from a cobblestone generator directly into this thing and we should be good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the cobblestone imprint in there as well as all of these. Did I pick? Yep, cool. 
so that will be gravel that'll be sand and that one will be for dust so in order for the applied energistic system to actually see the deep storage units we need a storage bus that's it right there that's just a ME interface do I actually have any of these I'm not sure if I crafted any in preparation no that's alright so we're gonna need four of them so we're gonna need four of these guys what are we missing from that fluix dust Let's just get a stack of that that should be plenty one two three four I think I got everything else prepared oh I'm not missing cable now make a ton of that because we're going to need to extend it out anyway there we go there's four of them and then voila four storage buses let's grab the cable while we're here and we can hook them up to the ME so what we're going to do is pop them on top and that's that they'll basically, uh, actually I think we may need to do this bi-directional is what we want means you can take in and out uh, we've got to click partition storage and then accept only listed items which is the default so we just need to import to get the pattern of what's actually in there then we should be good to go why does that torch have to be in the way there we go now they are hooked up to our system if we have a look in here we have dust nice now will that actually take out if I put that in is that gonna know where to go yes it knows where to go okay that's good alright it's smart enough to do that Oopsies. so now that we've done that we need to basically get all of these in our system so I'm thinking the best way is to just simply break it that's probably gonna be the easiest way oh is that all of it there we go now let me just double check that that's actually Oh yeah, 3,200 gravel. Nice. So again, yeah, that's good because it doesn't actually take up space in our uh, drives. So it leaves space for all the other items. Alright. Let me finish this up. Again, I'm, I'm going to leave the uh, soul sand right there for the moment. Uh we don't need this much dust or anything but soul sand we may need I don't particularly think we need it for anything since I have uh, sifted quite a lot of it already uh, I may leave the cobblestone there as well yeah alright uh, one thing I did forget to do though is I got some spoils bags I wanted to check them out so let's see what we get Oh, yes, force gems. Only one. Oh, dear. We need more than one. Oh, we didn't even get any here. We got some gold, though. I suppose that's kind of useful. Alright, so what I want to do... Now, I think we need four of these in order to make the seeds. Uh, let me have a look. How do we get the four seeds um what do we need uh, just the nuggets I know we need the actual gems okay because that's what I would like to get is four seeds simply because growing force is going to be the way to go but since we only have one of these um yeah we're going to need to wait for more spoils bags but that's alright, next episode I'm definitely going to upgrade this guy into a fully automated one. Now that we have applied energistics set up, it makes everything so much easier. Alright, so now I'm thinking what the best way to get this done is. 
Um, I think maybe the best thing to do would be to have this pipe into a chest underneath there and then have a export or an import bus on that chest basically giving us tons of cobblestone yeah that could be good alright so let's get a import bus then uh, we want a precision one simply because we can tell it to uh, do stacks at a time that's the main thing that we want there we go precision Uh, actually, I may need to move this stuff, so getting transfer pipes might be a good idea. Uh, also, what I did is I had I made some, a few extra autonomous activators, just to kind of speed the sifting process up. Pretty sure that's, that's about it. That sounds about right. Uh, eventually, I'd like to get fluid uh, drives in order to store all my fluids into the system. That would be a good thing to do, I reckon. Alright, so, can I access that piece of cobble from underneath? If that's the barrels, if that's the water, that's where the cobblestone is. Ah, I didn't grab a transfer node. So if we do it from underneath, then it's going to be... Well, actually, I may want to move the whole cobblestone generator down here. Put it right there. Or right here, actually. Um, or even better, I might put it right there. Yeah, alright. Give me a minute. I'm going to move the cobblestone generator downstairs. Just to kind of uh, clear things up a bit. So, I'll be back. Alright, so I have moved this all over now. Uh, made a complete mess of my inventory. And over there, I decided to put it here simply because this is, that's the pipe where my lava generation is going on. I probably will move that down here as well at some point, but for now it's fine up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, is having two on here make it any quicker? I think it may. You know, speed is always good because we have to end up, for one of the challenges, end up getting... 1 million uh, cobblestone in deep storage so yeah so first thing we're gonna do is have this cobblestone be piped into uh, the crucibles and then on the way from that we're going to split it off Along the roof here. Uh, I'm hoping it can go directly into there. Uh, I'm going to need more uh, pipes though. Or transfer nodes. Transfer, no, not transfer nodes. Transfer pipes. There we go, 64. That should be plenty. Uh, I'm hoping this can go directly into my deep storage unit. Now I'm gonna have to come behind it just a little bit, come on. Nope. This is gonna be a little bit annoying, probably. Uh, let me jump up on these things. Alright, let's bring this down. Almost there. Like I said, hopefully this will go directly into uh, the cobblestone one, which is this one. So we don't need that. All right, let's hop down like that. Uh, God, I can't get the last one on that. God, things are so tightly uh, in place around here. It's hard to actually get anywhere. All right, can I see that? No. Hold on, 
if I break that, then I can probably do it. There we go. Let's put that back. Let's see if that's going to work. Stored 65. I think it has worked. Let's just wait and see if it gets uh, a couple stacks. There we go. It's working perfectly. Nice. Alright, so we have deep storage working for our cobblestone generator now. Like I said, I think having two of these transfer nodes on will speed it up. Uh, we can get upgrades to it. Which we may want to look into if we want to. There's a speed and mining upgrade. We probably want a few of each. That's gold and redstone. Lapis iron. Uh, the mining upgrade allows inventory nodes to mine cobblestone if you connect an inventory transfer node directly to a block of cobblestone. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Might be something to look into. But for now, I mean, if we have a look in here. Yeah, we already have 766. And that's not including what's in that barrel. Oh dear. Let me put some of this crap away. Uh, I think the rest I can put away quite easily. There we go. Now I can pick up this uh, cobblestone and put it in its rightful place. And we should be good to go. Well, that's not all of it. Oh yeah, we've already got almost 5,000 cobblestone. This will probably take it up to that. Oh yeah, over 5,000. As I said, I think one of the challenges is to... How do I get the book out? There's there we go. Pretty sure one of the challenges is to get one million. Store one million cobblestone in deep storage. Yeah. So that's, you know, a part of it's done. We can just leave that going and we have cobblestone in our system now. So, maybe we should look at these speed upgrades. What do they actually do? Speeds them increase the number of operations a transfer node can do up to a second. Hmm, might be good to get some of those. Let me grab some blocks of redstone. Let me get three of these guys. Gold nugget. Just get a stack of gold nuggets, why not? Alright, there's 12 speed upgrades. Let's chuck it in and see if it goes any faster. We can chuck six in each. Oh yeah, look at that. Because the pipe is uh, a long way away, it has to do a lot of searching in order to find an inventory that it needs. So if we put them in there, a mining upgrade would also be good. But again, not sure how good we are on Lapis at the moment. Oops, he's missed it. Uh, Lappy, 128. I know that we're not so good on iron, maybe? 28 iron, but we have a ton of pulverized iron ore. Oh yeah, that's a stack and a bit of iron ore. So, that might be a good idea to get some of that. Uh, hmm. So next episode, I definitely want to get this farm automated. Now that we have AE system, it's going to make it much easier to automate it in the end. That's probably going to be... I don't know if that's loud or not. <laughs> oh, you're stuck there, are you? Poor thing. Uh, so yeah, I mean, now that we've got the AE system, it's going to make it easier to automate. Oopsies. Uh, and I will want to automate some farming as well. Maybe I can do that now. Because what I would like to do is to automate all of this stuff. Uh, what if autonomous activators work on these? 
Might be a good idea to get autonomous activators working on these, but we want mine factory reloaded uh, machines in order to automate these farms. Because what I want to do, I think, is have a five by five. Mm, don't know if I want a five by five. Yeah, I think I have a 5x5 five five area because I think I'm pretty sure that's the default size for mine factory reloaded farms. Have a 5x5 five five farm for each of the resources. So a 5x5 five five farm of redstone, of glowstone, and the, you know, all the good stuff. And basically, what's this? Uh, well, let's have a look. Uh, I don't know what the machines actually are called. But they're also going to need power, so that's a good reason to have actually got the the uh, energy cell from thermal expansion as well. Pretty sure we want a harvester and a planter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So what are we going to need? Flower pots, yeah, they're not too bad. So I'm going to need some bricks. Gold, again, not too bad. Bit of iron. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do is knock all that down, extend this platform out, and then basically here have a, a central platform going off, and then have two forward, uh, you know, entrance, and then have a five by five farm. Is that gonna, oopsies. Yeah, okay, there's nothing over there. So down here, five by five that way and that way, going down for ages. Uh, Cause we're probably gonna need, I'd say to start with at least five of these things. Well, what actual crops do we have? We have glowstone, earth, we have the essence, redstone, coal, iron, and so maybe I will start with making 10 of these things. Yeah, that could be good. Actually, you know, I'll be smart about it and actually just make one. Well, I'll make two. Then I can test out the setup first because no point making them all if I've got to take them all down again. Uh, so give me a minute. I'll get that set up and then we'll get started uh, automating uh, essence farms and basically getting tons of crops in. Uh, but first thing, do I use up all that rubber? Oh well, uh, I'm gonna cook up a stack of rubber while I'm here as well. Uh, ch -ch -ch coal. While that iron's cooking up. I'll cook up this rubber and then cook it again into the plastic sheets. So give me a minute, I'll build that stuff and I'll come back. All right, so that's done now. I have over here, I ended up making a five radius farm. Uh, I decided not to go for the small one that I was going to go for, but ended up making a big one. I figured why not? Although this seems to be wrong. I think it might need to be a 4x4 four four because the edge edges are turning back into dirt. So I may have to make it a 4 radius one. Uh, give me a minute and I'll do that. I actually forgot to put slabs underneath as well. So give me a minute and I'll do that. Alright, that's done now. It is a uh, 4 radius farm. That should be good to go. Uh, what I also did is I connected the tank underneath the sprinkler basically up to the infinite water source I already had down here. So that's easy enough. I'll just go down quickly to show you. There you go. Just transfer node going straight over. Nice. Uh, I'll probably will end up moving that at some point uh, past the point of the last farm. But for now that's fine. How much cobblestone do we have now? 5,300. Jeez, that doesn't actually seem like we're getting much. Have I ruined this by putting those speed upgrades in? Yes, okay. Putting the speed upgrades in seemed to have stopped it. 
I think I need mining upgrades in it. How much iron did we end up getting out of that? 131. Mm. For now, I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'll leave it for now, yeah. I'll get an iron farm up right now. So that it is, should be fine. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the planter I want. I think it is. Yeah, so let's have a look. Let's get some raw plastic sheets. Uh, let's get some flower pots. No. So we're going to need six of these cooked up. I just popped it straight back in. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Get those cooked up so we can make the pots, flower pots. Uh, machine block. Actually, I already had some machine blocks. I didn't need to do that. I probably have some pistons, but uh, having more doesn't hurt. And what about the harvester? We need shears. Two, she two sets of shears. Golden axe. Is a harvester really the thing we want? Rancher is animals. I don't know. Just doesn't sound right. I'm pretty sure it is though. Uh, golden axe. There's a harvester. Planter, make the flower pots. Missing one. Come on, where's that last brick? There it is. And planter. Nice. Actually, that's going to be interesting because the planter needs to go underneath. Hmm. Yeah, the planter needs to go underneath in the center block. That's going to be interesting. I wonder if I can put the sprinkler upside down above it. That'll be interesting. Let me have a look. Because that would probably be the best thing to do. Now all this uh, grass is actually probably going to disappear. No, I lost the tank. Damn it. Yeah, oh dear. That's all right. Uh, I think I have another one actually. Actually, uh, no, I probably don't. Oh, what a pain in the backside. So, right, it's not too hard to make some. Uh, and I'll grab buckets with me and take it with me. Let's grab a couple buckets of water. And let's go see if we can put this thing upside down. I would hope so, but sprinklers, I wouldn't say, work too well upside down. I'm going to ruin my farm a bit, but... Meh. Alright, so that would end up going... Mm, we'd probably want one more up, but let's see if the sprinkler... No, it needs to be on the top. Hmm. That's going to make things very interesting if we can't have a sprinkler. I wonder actually if it will function on top of the spring, well, underneath the sprinkler. Because that's usually where a block is. So that will end up filling with water anyway, but I will help it off just so I don't have uh, water buckets in my thing. So anyway, uh, I should need to put the sprinkler back on top. Uh, so the harvester will end up going there. 
Yeah. Uh, that's going to harvest things. What is the... I don't know what the uh, radius on this thing is. I'd like to say it's three. So we just need a single upgrade, I would think. Not 100% sure on that. Uh, I may have to look that up. But we'll go with the assumption that the default radius is three. And we'll make the upgrade lapis. And then what we can do is plant this thing. Actually, let's grab the iron seeds. We have nine. Jeez. This farm is going to be small. All right, so let's get the iron seeds. Uh, geez, this is going to be fun. Because uh, I'm going to have to move that water source off to the side. So I'm going to need more. Uh, give me a minute. I'll figure this out and I'll come back. All right, that's done now. Uh, as you can see, I have put leadstone energy conduits leading over to the planter. Uh, it's got the nine iron seeds in it. Uh, and all I should need to do is give it power. Just have to figure out how. Uh, is that not set to output? Uh, yellow is not output, orange is. No, that's the top. I guess that one we want. Alright, let's go and see if that's actually worked now. If I can run. I uh, can't see it planted anything. Doesn't look like it has. It may be too far down. Because it's idling a lot. Consume stack off. Is that going to help? No, it doesn't look like that's helping at all. I'll put the uh, filter back in just because I don't want anything else going in. I'm assuming that's what the filter is for. My best guess would be that this is in the way because I had to bring this down one more. Uh, let me try it. Oh, did I just lose my iron seeds? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, crap. It took me forever to get up to those nine iron seeds. Damn it. Yeah, well, that's what you get for being stupid, Ryan. That's what you get. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so let's make some more iron seeds then. What are we missing? Strong essence. Alright, let me put these things into the AE system. Can't believe I did that. All right, I was saving all those up for diamond seeds. Now I have to waste them on friggin' iron seeds. I feel like an absolute idiot. <sighs> oh well, that's what you get in Skyblock. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so let's move this one up then. We can worry about the filling of the tank later. But for now, let's just put the planter down, connect it up, and put the upgrade in. Oh, the uh, inventory screen's bugged out a little bit. Is that going to work now? Oh, yes. Okay. So that's worked now. All right. I just need to figure out how to actually get the water into the tank now. I may have to just destroy this block here. Yeah, I think that may be my only choice. Is to destroy. Hopefully that's not what the iron seeds are on. There we go. Actually, I'll break that and I'll put it there. Oopsies, I didn't mean to do that. 
Uh, yep, okay, that should continue to fill then. We can just do that. All right, that should be good now. So that's a pretty simple setup. Again, it's only working with one iron seed. Uh, so let's go up and hook up the harvester with the gold chest. I'm just going to use a gold chest for now just to kind of suss out how it's all going to work. I'll come, I'll do some stuff on it through the next episode. Probably make quite a few more farms. Oops, didn't want to fall down there. And basically see where we go from there. So that's where it planted. Good. Can I put... Oopsies. Didn't mean to do that. Or that. I want it on top of there. I assume that's not going to affect anything. Uh, so we're going to need power into this thing. It outputs from the back, I'm pretty sure. Uh, ooh. We may need to put an upgrade in this as well. Quite possibly. All we should need to do is hook power up to it. But that's in the way. So right, I can do that and set that to not hook to machines. Alright, that should work. As far as I know, that should work. Uh, let me just grab basically the watering can and test it out. The one thing I'm not sure about is does it pick up all the uh, other things that the iron or more the iron crop drops? Not 100% sure. I'm not sure if we're going to need a vacuum hopper or anything for that. Yep, so that's working. Let's grow this out and see what happens. It should pick it up. There we go. Uh, yes, it looks like it did pick up everything. That's good. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's going to be how all of the farms are going to be automated. Uh, we'll have all of the magical crops farms doing lots of lovely things. And we'll get basically infinite amount of resources eventually. If I didn't lose those other nine iron seeds. Ugh. Oh well. Um, I'll have to probably figure out a way to get iron seeds back into the planter. What I may end up doing is using applied energistics cable right down the other side of this lane. Uh, have a import bus on the back of this thing. And then basically have an export bus on the planter exporting the iron seeds. So yeah, that's probably what... Ooh, I'm gonna get rid of that. That's what I'm going to do in between episodes is get all that set up and have all these farms up and running. And next episode, we're finally going to get onto automating our mob trap. We're going to have a lovely automatic and hopefully going to get us quite a few spoils bags because we need some of the stuff that's in those spoils bags. So again, that's it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.